Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. So today is December 22nd and I just kind of wanted to vlog the few days of Christmas. I usually do like a Christmas haul, but I kind of wanted to vlog the Christmas time, do some fun activities, and then do my little Christmas haul at the end of this video. So if that's all you care about seeing, skip to this time right here. So you can just watch that. You don't have to watch the rest of it. <laughs> I love vlogging. I'm just really bad at it because I'll like forget I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this time. It's like 4 p.m. right now, so it's definitely later in the day. I leave tomorrow to go to my family's house and I've got a lot to do. I haven't even started packing. I wanna clean up my apartment a little bit because I did dust and wipe some stuff down earlier, but then I had some stuff to do. I just got done filming another video. I want to vacuum and mop too at least i just want to do those things just so i can come home to a nice clean place when i get back and i don't have to worry about any of that you know so i want to do that and then i need to start packing so we've got some stuff to do but i figured if i vlogged i'm more likely to do it while i was cleaning earlier i was listening to the cruel prince and i have been listening to the cruel prince for a little while now so randomly too i had an eyelash appointment and i wanted an audiobook to listen to while i was in my appointment so i was looking for different audiobooks and this one just popped up and i was like i cut the book on my shelf forever kind of want to read it <laughs> but i'm really liking it so far so i was listening to it earlier while i was cleaning and i'm probably gonna listen to it again while i finish cleaning i made a little coffee even though it is 4 p.m <laughs> But I have a lot to do. I have a lot of stuff to do. We also have to fit shower sometime in that time frame. But I'm on chapter 13 of The Cool Prince. Let's see how far in we are. I'm like in the middle of chapter 13, but the chapter starts on page 120. So I'm actually a good chunk of the way into the book. Sometimes I'm like scared to listen to fantasies because I feel like I won't catch everything that's happening because when you're listening to a book, it's kind of harder to like pay attention to every little detail, you know? But I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I feel like I know what's going on <laughs> and I'm liking it so far. Jude was seven when her parents were murdered and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of fairy. 10 years later, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there, but many of the fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardin, the youngest and wickedest son of the high king. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. We're gonna go back to listening and finish cleaning. and stuff last night I didn't do any of that actually don't ask me why I sabotage myself oh my god I literally just turned my camera on it's already dying one moment so I have to do it all this morning before I go this suitcase I'm gonna put all of my presents in because literally all of these are for my family I figured I'd use my big suitcase for my clothes and then this one for gifts I don't need that much stuff really but I'm driving there so I can pack whatever I want been a while um i've been really busy everything's ready to go take out to the car i've been like racing against time trying to get my youtube video finished and i just finished it it's has like 10 minutes left so i'm just literally waiting for that as soon as it goes up 
we're out of here. It's one o'clock now. I plan to leave at 12, but it's fine. I'm glad I got my YouTube video uploaded and stuff so I don't have to worry about it. I can just spend time with my family. I'm gonna go put all my stuff in the car while I'm waiting for this to upload. We've got like a two hour drive ahead of us. <laughs> vlogged much because i've just been hanging out with my family got all my stuff unpacked ate some dinner showered just chilled now i'm about to go to bed because i'm so tired i'm just gonna lay down and read a little bit i'm reading this 25 reasons to hate christmas and cowboys it's a really short book and i figured it'd be a great last book to read before christmas this is gonna be my like last christmasy book i will see you guys in the morning less than 200 pages. Now I'm getting ready because we're just having some people over for a little Christmas Eve brunch. I'm trying to like be in the Christmas spirit because I just don't feel like I am. <laughs> I think tonight we're gonna go drive and look at some Christmas lights. But other than that, it's just gonna be a pretty chill day. I honestly can't believe Christmas is tomorrow. Like where did December go? before everything closes. And then we're also going to Michael's because we're gonna get little ceramic gingerbread houses to paint. So we need to get like little paint too because I'm pretty sure my mom does not have that. So today is feeling very Christmassy. So it's not nice. Okay, so we went into Michael's. They did not have gingerbread houses, but they had these little Hello Kitties. They had these little Hello Kitties. So we got two of these and we're each gonna paint one and see how differently we paint them. But we're gonna probably grab some coffee and then head home. We're painting our Hello Kitties. Sydney's doing like a pink Hello Kitty with black on it, looks I like. Up the so much. <laughs> and then I'm doing an ivory for my base. And we turned on Elf, getting in the Christmas spirit. My beige mom, Hello Kitty. <laughs> Did you see the video of that one mom, like painting her, her child's yeah, Christmas tree?
I just took a shower. I'm breaking out so bad. I feel like every time I travel or do anything, my skin breaks out. So I'm hoping that's just it. Me and my sister got to open a gift tonight. We got pajamas. Our gift usually on Christmas Eve is a pair of pajamas that we wear. Mom got these little sets from Hollister. These little Christmas pants and they have little cats on them. Isn't that so cute? The shirt is just this plain white shirt that says Hollister. It's really soft. I'm just more of a t-shirt girl when I'm sleeping. I'm probably just going to read and I will see you guys in the morning for Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. sleeping besides me my camera also died so i don't know how much footage i got but i'm gonna do a little christmas haul obviously i'm not trying to brag or anything i just want to show you guys what i got so in my stocking i got i got a bunch of candy i also got a bunch of squinkies which if you played with these when you were a kid you're a real one but they're so cute obviously this is just like a silly little gift but i love them I also got a little scrunchie, some witch hazel toner, and then everything else in my stocking was gift cards. So I got like Ulta, Amazon, McDonald's, Chipotle. Love that. I already have ordered some stuff with the gift cards that I got. I also got money for Christmas. A lot of the time that is what I get because it's easier for my parents to just do money because then I can just get whatever I want. So I did get some money, but for the actual physical gifts, I got a new Belle Funko Pop because I had this on my bookshelf because she's reading a book and it's really cute and Bentley here chewed it up. So now I have a new one. Then my dad got me this therapy lamp. It's like supposed to mimic the sun so when it's like cloudy out it says it's supposed to improve memory function and help you wake up and improve your mood pretty interesting my dad just got back from saint lucia he gave me this like hummingbird ornament that's carved out of wood it's downstairs though i forgot to bring it up here but it's really cool and he put it in this little saint lucia flag <laughs> i also got a silk pillowcase which yay because i only have one so now i'll have one for each of my pillows and then i got a perfume from dossier which if you've never heard of this brand um they make cheaper versions of high-end perfumes so this one is supposed to smell like the black opium perfume and it does it smells really good and it's like a nice big bottle it's called ambery vanilla so if you want a black opium dupe or any designer perfume dupe this is the website to go to it smells so good like i'll be using this all the time and then my sister got me a mini version of the black opium perfume and then it also came with this ysl perfume but i don't know what it's called because it doesn't say on the container but it's really cute because there's a little bow on it it's like so cute and then my sister also got me 
this pack of makeup slash travel bags and they're so cute i'm really excited about this actually because i've had the same makeup bags forever so i'm excited to have some different ones she also got me a book she got me the seven year slip and that's literally the one book on my list that i accidentally bought which is my fault totally but i wanted her to be able to return it and like get her money back since i already have it so i gave it back to her and then i also got this big black puffer coat it's really long um i only have a cropped black puffer coat so i wanted like a full length one so i'm really excited i got this and the inside looks super fluffy i'm gonna be wearing this literally all winter and then i got a pair of converse which i'm super excited about there are these green ones and like they have different shades of green on them i love them green is like my favorite color so i'm gonna be wearing these so much in the spring and the summer the last gift is this wireless vacuum which i'm super excited about because i really wanted a wireless vacuum that is my christmas haul very grateful for everything i got and i hope your holidays were really fun joyful and filled with all kinds of love and i hope you had a really good christmas